Oh my god, I don't know how to say that. All right. What's up, witches? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Hex Wags unboxing. It is spooky month. This box has nothing to do with it. So this will be a non spooky month content. So this will be the only one. And then um, this month I have a few like Halloween themed Sorry, my brain has stopped working. I have a few Halloween themed cards that I will be opening up and we'll be doing a few introducing there. And I'll try and think of a few other things to do. This is my beautiful setup. It's not beautiful, it's very bad. Excuse me, my baby monitor is dying. Uh, this is my very bad setup. It won't look like this forever, I swear. And the table I want to use is not in commission. You can probably see the glass in the back. Maybe you can't, I don't know, but it is not in commission. So I apologize for how this looks. And I also apologize, my cats might be around. I'm in my basement so my dog can't get down here. And my baby's asleep, but my cats can get down here and they might screw around a little bit. So I apologize for that. Uh, let's get right into this box. It is September's box. I don't have the box opened right now, so I can't even tell you the theme, but we will get there, I swear. Let's get there right now. So as I just said, this is September's box, Spirit of Mabon, and we're gonna get right into it. Ooh, that's a beautiful sticker. I like that. Ooh, a witch down the lane item. Oh, this acorn. Oh, that's so cool, little acorn. Spirit, acorn spirit, acorn um, uh, ornament. Witch down the lane, acorn and oak leaf adornment. Beautifully witchcrafted to adorn your home or altar space during the autumn season or year round to work with the magic of the oak tree. Acorns are a symbol of security and of abundance. Ancient folklore tells of using acorns to attract prosperity, luck, and health. Of course, you can always find Witch Down the Lane stuff at uh, blah, 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 sorry, the witchdownthelane.com. Of course, I'll leave it linked here, at the bottom of the, your screen. So this is acorn is just beautiful. I absolutely love it, and uh, yeah, I think I'll be leaving it on my altar piece as you saw in the back. It's not really an altar piece. Well, I guess it is an altar. I guess a little bit. Um, of what I don't know yet I do plan on making that space or this round table that I'm using at the present moment uh, until I can get my actual table set up and altar space but no need to worry about that I really love this and I will be putting that back there on that table <gasps> oh it's so beautifully crafted also there was no uh, like spell this month so that was kind of disappointing but oh well Next up here, we have the Spirit of Mabon candle. It's got that beautiful marking on top. This candle can be burned from the time of autumn, autumnal equinox all the way through to the winter solstice. Hand poured soy candle infused with spice and topped with putka pods and calendule. Nice, putka pods. I don't know what that is. Let's take a look. Oh, look at the little Petka pod. Oh, I like it. It looks so nice. And I can kind of smell it already. It smells really nice, too. Mmm. Just took a closer whiff. And yes, I very much enjoy that very autumn smell. It reminds me of something else, but I can't put my finger quite on that smell. Anyways, I always love the candles. And this definitely hasn't disappointed. I love it. Next up is, of course, the bath soak, because you know me. <laughs> Autumn's warmth bath soak. Cozy season is officially here. Use this soak to crawl into a warm bath and sit in gratitude for all you're harvested, all you've harvested throughout the year. Excuse me, I will be doing that probably tonight. Oh, look at all the stuff in there. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to like smell it and, you know, just lay and soak in it. It says here, as the days get cooler and the frost begins to settle in, use this bath soak to spend time with yourself in the warm cocoon of the water, reflecting on your personal harvest this year. Yes, I will be doing that. It has gotten a bit colder. It actually hasn't been too bad 
so I'm very excited to get into a warm bath and uh, soak in this well it gets colder out. Uh, next is Demeter's Blessing Anointing Oil. Demeter was frequently called in prayer when a farmer or landowner wanted his territory to be blessed to ensure fertility and use or and his plants and crops to thrive. Use this oil to call on her to bless whatever you'd like to grow and thrive in your life. Well, I really should have opened this box way sooner, apparently. <laughs> we are actually, I'm married into a farming family and we're actually done our harvest now. So I will be keeping this around and keeping this in mind for next year's harvest because we could really use it. Just that extra bit of, um, not luck, but extra bit of caring in that area. <laughs> What does it smell like? Ah, yes, I forgot all about that. I was about to like move on. I'm like, don't I usually smell these things? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that is so nice. It smells like very sweet and like more flowery than anything. I really like it. That's so nice. I don't know. Mm. It smells super nice. I really enjoy that. Is flowery, is that how I want to describe it? I don't know. Let me give it. No, not flowery. Apologies. It actually smells like, <laughs> kind of like how a dude would smell a little bit. Flowery, I apologize. Not flowery, but like, I don't know. How do men smell? I don't know, musky or something? I don't know. It smells like a man's cologne or something. But I really like it. Like, it smells nice. Like a nice cologne, not a super overpowering one that you want to, like, fall over and die because it's just too strong. No, this is a very nice scent. Yeah, that's how I'm going to describe the smell. <laughs> Next up is the Bountiful Body Butter. Handcrafted and natural body butter to take care of your skin during the dry months while enrobing yourself in the scents of autumn. Ooh. That's nice because yes, my I have very dry skin. I'm sure you guys really want to know about my gross skin, but here you go. I do have very dry skin and it does get worse within like autumn and it's even worse in winter. So I'm very excited for this. Let's give it the old smell test and obviously we'll see what it looks like opened. It is very liquid, not liquidy, but like, I don't know. When I think of like a body butter, they're usually like harder and you have to like microwave them a little bit to kind of not solidify them the opposite, liquefy them a little bit, but this is already there. So I really like that already. Oh, that smells so nice. Definitely like a vanilla smell to it. Oh yeah. I just want to bathe myself in this and I will be doing that right after I use the um, virtual bath soak. I'm very excited to use it. Finally, we have, excuse my pronunciation of this because it is not going to be pretty, Echinacea, Echinaca, Herb, 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 oh. <laughs> used to strengthen both your immune system and your spells. Use this flower for support during cold and flu season in a tea. You can also use it to fortify your magical workings. Oh, that's really neat. Its planet is Mars and the element is fire. I just smacked something with my nail. Apologize for that noise. Yeah, very interesting. I don't know. I've never heard of this and I don't know how to pronounce it. And I'm definitely not going to try to like pronounce this part because that is just going to be even worse than my pronunciation of what it's called as well. Um, cold and flu season is upon us. So this will be nice for that. And um, yeah. I do kind of wish it was, oh, I know it sounds kind of impossible maybe, but like I wish it was kind of like a little bottle or a little satchel of acorns or something, just because I feel like that would have gone extra, like that further bit into the theme. But at the same time, this is also really nice because as I stated before, fall, autumn, whatever, <laughs> autumn, fall, the same thing. It is cold and flu season, so this is actually a very nice little extra bit to help get you through that. 
September's Spirit of Mabon box has now been unboxed. I really enjoyed this box. Again, I kind of do wish they put acorns in instead of this. I can't, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, I'm so sorry. It just doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Uh, so I really enjoyed this box. My favorite item is definitely the Witch Down the Lane acorn. Um, and I love all like the body butter looks really nice and smells really nice. I can't wait to try it out. The bath soak, of course, is my jam as well as the candle as always. I really like the Demeter Blessing anointing oil too. And the sticker is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I don't mind the herb because it does make sense. The herb, the herb. Oh, dear Lord, I'm so sorry. The herb, I really don't mind it. Obviously it goes with theme. I just feel like acorns would have been more on theme, but what do I know? I'm just uh, a person sitting here recording videos. So I apologize. I don't apologize. That's just my thoughts. Oh, and now that I have my thoughts all spewed and thrown up onto you, I apologize for that. This is where I'm ending this video here. If you would like to leave a like, please feel free to comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece is from this box because you know I love to hear from you. And finally, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to. Uh, it really helps me out with interest wise and all that stuff. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. You mean the whole world to me. You have no idea. It makes me feel so good when you have subscribed. So I really, really appreciate your support. And that's it for me. I am out of here. I'll see you with another video. Goodbye.